So today we're going to actually look at replacing a quarter inch jack. Uh, this is a nice little faux Telecaster. Um, very cool, lightweight, but a common problem that you'll run into is Dave. <laughs> a common problem that you'll run into is because the cord is plugged into the jack, you'll actually get some leverage and it'll actually destroy either the cable um, or kind of pull out the jack and destroy the jack. So what we're going to do is we're going to just replace the whole thing today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to no. grab your no. screwdriver and pull these two screws out. Depending on your actual Telecaster, you may have a different assembly. So if you have the other assembly, it's a little more difficult. We might cover that one some other time. All right. So first thing that you notice is that one of the wires is disconnected. Pretty common. And this is kind of an inexpensive jack one of the Chinese made pieces. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull that off right away. And then the first thing we're gonna do is take this old Japanese jack and that one's gonna go in the trash. Here's the jack plate. Kind of a standard thing, so. The jacks that I really recommend are the Chicago made Switchcraft. You can see that it's just, it's a really well made jack. Heavy duty. That's what I'll the American manufacturers used to put in their stuff, but I don't know if that's happening anymore because of uh, cost issues. A lot of times these won't fit on here, and this one actually fits. A little tight, not bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a washer, there we go, washer, jack plate. Of course, the guy is very tight there. That's a good sign. Second washer, and finally the nut there. And you can use any sort of um, pliers, needle nose, and just crank that down. I'm going to use these square tipped ones here. And I'm just going to crank it down by hand. The other neat little trick that you can do is you can actually get um, a small drop of super glue on the threads, just a really tiny drop, and then you're all set up. That, that won't ever get loose. If you ever need to get back into it, you just heat it up with your soldering iron. Just pull it right apart. Next thing we're going to do is look at the wire here. So we're going to take this old wire here and kind of just refurb it, clean it up. So there's some damage to the wire, so we're going to go ahead and just redo the whole thing here. So the wire that we used on this is a three conductor wire. Unnecessary to have the bearer the bare wire there, so we're just going to go ahead and, and tear that off or cut it off. Now, at this point, you really want to pay attention to polarity because polarity is going to determine whether your guitar is ultra noisy or quiet. Nine times out of ten, if it's done by someone who's professional or knows what they're doing, your light wire will be your hot. Now, the hot needs to be connected to this little prong here, so what you can do is actually follow the, the signal. So, if you look here, this is your hot. It's going to go all the way through here. It's kind of a sandwich board, and that's the prong that it connects to right here. And then the other one is going to be your ground, and your ground's going to be the sleeve. That's kind of the dead giveaway there. So I'm just going to strip these out real quick. Next thing we're going to do is tin the ends of the wire. This helps when you actually get down to soldering to the eyelets there. So just enough to kind of wet it here. Cool, all set. Last thing we're going to do, again paying attention to that polarity. This is your hot white. All right, so this is kind of the tricky part here. Again, just getting your solder. What you want to do is actually heat the eyelet and not the wire, and then apply the solder. Do not blow on your solder joint. That will weaken it. Let it dry naturally. 
That one's good. And we move over to the positive for your hot output. Looks nice and neat. We'll cut off the remaining extra wire, and you probably want to make sure that you uh, you do that because any sort of extra wire could end up grounding stuff out or causing issues later on. Last thing you want to do is test the unit before <laughs> before you put it back together. It'll save you all kinds of time. So we have a little cable set up here. Here you go, Ruben. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Just disconnect that again. Carefully push the wire back in there, making sure that nothing is grounding out or twisted. And the screws go back in. This happens to be one of my favorite telecasters of all time. It is incredible to play and weighs absolutely nothing. All right, it is all set, good to go. Easy repair. It took less than uh, five minutes. We'll be doing other repair sessions, so uh, hope to see you then. Take care.